My purple unicorn, Justine Sky. Congratulations, Thank Rock you. Nation. Thank yeah? you so much. Yeah. So what does this mean now? Does this mean Jay-Z gives you a lot of money and just, <laughs> I mean, or. I wish. Nah, it, it just means that I'm, I'm home. Like, yeah. I'm at, I'm like with people who really like love and support me and like are ready to go. We're ready to go. We're working, man. So how did this come about? Who made the call or was this something that was in the works and, you know. Well, I mean, I've known like Shaka and Lenny, like a, a bunch of people up at Rock Nation, like my whole entire life. They've known me since I was a little girl. Right. They were just waiting for like the, for me to be ready, and the right opportunity. And they just reached out. They're like, "Yo, we we want Justine." Jay was like, "We need Justine here." And I'm like, "How does I that feel?" feel? It, it feels amazing, man. Like you really, like two years ago, I would not expect this to happen. You know, it's always my yeah. dream, especially being from Brooklyn, like, to be like, oh, my God, I wish I was signed to Rock Nation. That would yeah, be so cool. Yeah, of course. Cool. That would be so cool. And now it's, like, actually happening. It's really funny, too, because people would tweet it. Like, they'd be like, you should be signed to Rock Nation. And I'm like. Makes sense. One day, maybe. And now that day is here? Yeah. So now you enjoy going to meetings because you're excited to work. Oh, no, no, no. I I'm in that building. I literally was just there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going back right after. Like, <laughs> I love being there. It's not even like I'm bothering them, too. Like, they just love to have their artists there and just talk to them and brainstorm and get ideas. And that's how you also make things work and get out faster, too. <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, no, you see me? I was here yesterday. I was here. I'm going to be here every day. day. And I'm from... I'm, this is where I live, so this I can just is home be there. for you. I don't have nothing else to do. I don't have no friends, so I'm just there. <laughs> I love this. All right, so Justine Sky, I'm yours. Yes, we play day single. and night. I know it's and, so amazing, and I'm obsessed with it. I listen to it on my own time. Hey. That's how I know I like a record because I listen to it on my own time. So, how did you and Vic Mensa get together to do the song? Well, the song was already. It's really crazy because now we're label mates. <laughs> It's so but weird. In the beginning, we weren't. Right. And um, it just, like, it kind of happened. I mean, we were just always in talks with Lenny, who signed me to Rock Nation. And um, he, uh, Vic is his artist. So we were just, like, he was like, yo, like, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Because it didn't have anyone on it at first. Yeah. And we were, like, trying to see who would fit on the song. And then it was really, really funny because my mom was like, oh, Vic did the verse. And I'm like, did what verse? And yeah. I'm like, I had no idea. I was like, did what verse? I'm like, Vic Mensa. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I and mom, how do you, what? Yeah. I'm like, you guys put him on that song. And then I heard it and I was like, whoa, he did, like, that verse is so dope. This is perfect. Like, it completes the song. Absolutely. Ah, <sighs> Emotionally unavailable, huh? It's been out for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been out for a while. So how's the emotions going? Still unavailable or are we available? What's going on? Well, I was always emotional, <laughs> but that was like just me being dramatic and I wanted to be emotionally unavailable for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not emotionally unavailable. I'm just chilling. Like, yeah. Like guys are crazy. I've like, really, I agree. I've, I'm glad I'm learning this like now yeah. as I'm 20, just knowing that guys are just full of lies. lies. Of course. <laughs> That's what so they I'm do. I'm just like, I just laugh at everything. Like, I'm just like, you're funny. Now I saw your tweets. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that just to put it out there? Or is it uh, was that a situation? No, I just when it's like really lit, I like to just <laughs> I like to make things general too, because like yeah. I'm pretty sure someone out there is feeling the same way, and I like to tweet things that people like lessons yes. things for people to remember, like know that you're important, and like yeah, I don't remember what I tweet half the time because I just say a lot of things. Yeah, but I do know the other day I was kind of like angry, just but I just think about it situations. was more hurt. It's not, yeah. It wasn't angry. I was it was hurt. more hurt. Yes, I was hurt, but yeah, because it was think here. Of random things. Like, this is what you said. I got to stop wasting my time. I never get excited anymore. I did at first, but now I understand that I deserve better than you. Because, well, when I say you, I wasn't well, talking yeah. about a specific, like, you. Yeah. I was saying you. I deleted the tweet afterwards because Why? it didn't get any retweets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Yo, but awesome. I put you as in your type. Yeah. So, like, there's a type of guy. Well, it's every guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, so I'm just like, I deserve better than you. Like, yeah. a guy like you. Who's a dream guy? If, if he came along, what's his personality like? Is he funny? Is he... Is he sweet? Is he a bad boy? He's super, super funny. I love dry humor. Yeah. Um, he's a little bit of bad boy. A little bit of a bad boy. Uh, 
tall. Actually, tall. no, I don't care. No, listen, you could say that. No, this, no, no. I don't I don't have a type when it comes to like how tall physical appearance. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Yes. So but that means we my need mom tall thinks, men. My mom thinks I like the ugliest boys in the world. <laughs> Is she right? Um I obviously don't think they're <laughs> ugly because I like them. Yeah, it's so awesome. But, but I'm just like, I'm, it's not about the looks for me. Like, they make me happy. Like, I think yeah. they're cool. Yeah. So a little bit of a bad boy. Like, when you say that, does that mean, like, gone to jail or dresses more like, you know? You got to have swag. Like, yeah. Like, you got to know how to dress. Yeah, you're from for Brooklyn. One. Yeah, right. Um, Jail? I don't really like, <laughs> I mean, if you've been to jail, like, I guess, like, whatever. But that's not like a prefer. Like, I'm like, you have to have gone to jail. Like, <laughs> right. Being yeah. bad, like, to me, is not about, like, actually really being bad. It's yeah. about, like, the your, your confidence. Like, to, to be yes. a boss. Like, you got to be a boss. You got to be confident in yourself. Like, because people, guys who are insecure, just, like, they're the worst. Oh, it's. They're the worst. Look. And they get jealous. <sighs> like, a jealous guy. See, guy, that's bad. A lot of girls don't know this, but there are a lot of insecure guys out there. They try oh, to no, make no, it no. seem like it's us. No, it's I know them. guys that look in the mirror more than I do. Ew. Yeah, it's funny. Ew. It's really funny. Ew. I, like I just laugh. I laugh at guys now. Like I think they're so funny cuz they think I don't notice all the things that they're doing. They think I'm stupid or something. Yeah. Like, and I'm just like, you're actually the stupid one. <laughs> What's the biggest lesson so far that you've learned about dealing with guys? And I know we hear it on your music, but the one thing that you want, you know, girls to totally understand, hey, I've been through this and just remember this. Well, I'm still learning this, but you, oh, I was like this thing and Erica Badu was talking and she was like, you can't make a man do anything. Like you can't make them Ever. do it. Like they'll do what they want to do. And so that's what I'm learning. I'm like, if this guy wants to see me, he'll come see me. If he wants to call me, he'll call me. Isn't that crazy? But it's like, why do we have to tell you? Or do, why do we have to wait for a man? Like, why do we have to know these things about a man and just accept them? It's like <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. But uh, It is. Like, you I'm know, not taking care of nobody. Or... Exactly. <laughs> you can't do that. I will find you and tell you no. Because you know what it is? I believe guys have this, like, hunter mentality. Like, they have to get things. And if they don't get it, it's not good enough. Yeah. I just think genetically, unfortunately, that's how they're made. And I think that's the reason why they have to do the they have to do the courting. And I think nowadays so many of us women have made it so easy for men to access yeah. us that they feel like they don't have to work to get anything. Yeah. <sighs> and also like at this point in my life, I'm so busy. Yeah. So even if I did I was in a relationship, I'd never get to see them like I guess if you really want to see, you make the time. Exactly. You make the time. So I guess there's no excuse. No. Nope. There's no one that important right now. For me. And I guess <laughs> yes. I'm not that important for anyone right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to date a guy in the industry or do you prefer not? As an artist, it's just, you guys, like, we just click. Right. It just, like, because you have things to talk about and you see them places and it's just, yep. like, that's what you find. It's, like, I feel like it's harder to find someone who's not in the industry. Cause you're just around these people all the time and you mm -hmm. see them and you like, if you really are, have a love for music, you're like, oh my God, I love this person's music. I love their artistry. I love what they're right. doing. Cause I feel like if I, if they're not in music, it's like, what am I talking to you about? Yeah. Like, and what am I really, what do we have to talk about? So you're open to it. Yeah. But they have to be amazing. They have to court you. I'm just putting this out there so it can <laughs> manifest. They have to be incredible. Yes. I mean, of course. Who doesn't want someone incredible? Exactly. In their life? Okay. So now music. If you had a bucket list of three people that you could work with mm -hmm. in your lifetime, who would these three people be? Um, Pharrell. Mm hmm. Missy Elliott. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. On like a musical tip and like a, just a creative visual tip oh, too. yes 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 um who else three 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 man just jay-z yeah but well, that's come that's, on uh, they, we can we can almost cross one of those things off yeah <laughs> i mean jay yeah let's get this done let's, let's get this let's figured get out <laughs> you know you know <laughs> Anyone that you've met, because even though you've been working for a long time, you're still part of the newbie crop, right? The newbies that are going to take over. Anyone that you felt starstruck around, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just met them. Um, Beyonce. I, it only happened twice. It was Beyonce. 
Are we talking about like recently or since I like because when I was Ever. a kid, oh, when I was a kid, I was really obsessed with Soldier Boy. <laughs> And I sat behind him at the Kids' Choice Awards, and I cr- I literally cried. Did you really? The whole entire time. <laughs> the whole time. I was like, oh, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> he was just right there, and it, and I was so excited. But as of recently, yeah. Beyonce, I was just so shocked that she even like said a word to me. I was like, she was like, it's nice to meet you, and I was like, I don't I don't think I said anything. No, I think I was like <laughs> speechless. Oh my god! And then. I met Bradley Cooper. I didn't even meet him. I didn't meet him. I just <laughs> saw him and I freaked out. I didn't. I lied. I didn't meet him. <laughs> I didn't meet him. I was at Made in America and we were like walking to go see Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> and and he was like walking too. And I was like, <laughs> someone introduced me. I don't know what to yeah, do. I'm hyperventilating. Now, what about the other artists that are also, you know, coming out at this point? How's the relationships with everybody? Do you guys all, you know, support each other like Zendaya and Kehlani? And I feel like you guys are the new wave of everything that's going on. Absolutely. Especially because there was such like a lack of female, young female artists for a while, especially like in the R&B genre. Yes. Just like just urban music. There was like a, it was gone. And now we're all like on the rise together. We're supporting each other. I love both of them they're amazing beautiful strong women with and great role models too yeah so i love that i love seeing that right now and kiki palmer talks so good about everybody as well and just to see that yeah it's nice it's different there's no diva r and (laughs) beef sorry guys not in this because we're all so focused on what we're doing we all have our own lanes we're focused and we're all just trying to win yeah and everybody wants to make their career mm-hmm. and their own lane and and there's enough money out there and there's enough space absolutely for everybody to get it and i think a lot of times as women unfortunately we're pitted against each other mm-hmm. and we're always put against each other like people are like oh this girl was talking mess about you blah blah, blah. but what makes it so great is that we have such close connections we can be like yo is this true exactly if it's like that's what real women do yeah they don't just he like believe that he said she said and just like go off of that so yeah i love this i'm so excited for this right now i love seeing women win (laughs) on every single level okay so now for the girls out there who need some you know dating advice okay (laughs) so on a first date Mm -hmm. should you pay the bill or should the guy pay the bill? Oh my God, he should pay the bill. <laughs> he okay. should, not even on a first date, on every date. On every date. Unless you guys are like married and he's like, yo, I really like can't afford this right now. <laughs> like, unless this is really like your ride or die and he's like, yo, I'm kind of low on the funds. Like, Then he should take care of it. He should always take care of it. For Women her. should never have to pull out her wallet when yeah. they're hanging out with a guy. I feel that. At least like he needs my to. My mom taught me that. Your mom taught you a lot of great things, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Listen to mom. This this is great. I'm glad that your mom's in your life. Now, on a first date, if you have to use the bathroom, mm. but you guys are in a movie theater, mm-hmm. right? And it's like get into like the juicy part and it's like a great part. Do you hold it or do you get up and leave and use the restroom mm-hmm. or do you just let loose there and act like it wasn't you? What? I would get up. I'm like weird, like, I don't care about that type of stuff. I'm I'm kind of like a gross girl. Yeah. So I would just go use I mean, I wouldn't fart in front of a guy. Like that's just extreme. How long would it take for you to fart in front of a guy? How long would you guys be dating for? Um, I don't think I ever would. I'd just go somewhere and he, Ever? But if he asked me what I went to do, I'd be like, I went to go fart. Like, you want me to do it in front ever. of you? Ever. Even when you're married? I don't know. I just feel like I mean, I'll do it in front of my friends and like <laughs> stuff like that but a guy like nah i'm like you don't want to smell that like you don't you don't want to be a part of that you don't that's not for you <laughs> it's not for it's you. not for you this is for me it's not for you you don't want to you don't want to know that part now just seeing you know when you sleep sometimes you accidentally do this i don't but i think like you're asleep so yeah. like nobody would know <laughs> now when it comes to texting a guy okay you guys just met you guys had a great conversation should he initiate the texting or should you text him Jeez, guys are such bad texters these days. They are. I hate them. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah. Because I'm a really petty when it comes to texting. Are you? Like, re- like I will deliberately <laughs> take a minute to respond to you. Or I'll respond right away. Yeah. But then I get mad because I'm like, okay, I responded really fast. Like, why didn't he respond really, really fast? fast. Like, what is he doing? Yeah. But um, I feel like the guy should... I don't know. I feel like 
it, it depends on what you guys are talking about or what yeah. you want to talk about. But if you have a question, like, don't be afraid to ask. Like, I, if I have something to say, then I just say it. Got it. Would you rather a guy call you more or text you? Um, I'd rather uh, FaceTime. Yeah, I FaceTime. Yeah, my boyfriend and I, we FaceTime all the time. It's the best thing ever. It is. FaceTime is everything. FaceTime is, I never thought I would use FaceTime this much ever, but <laughs> now it's all that I use. That's all I am on. Like, I need to see what you're doing, like, who you're around, like, what's Who's really there? going down. Yes. <laughs> like, I need your full attention, not just your ear. Exactly. I need your whole face. <laughs> Yo, I love you. You're crazy. And that's what I love. Yeah. I think, I love that you are your, you're being you, man. You know what I mean? I'm just living in this world, man. And crazy, and I love it. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 